Today we are resealing a Duramax fuel filter head assembly. Uh, we're going to be using an Alliant Power part number AP0029. This is under our stock truck, our, our stock parts section of the website uh, under seals and gaskets. Now, if you're doing this job, if you're working on the Duramax fuel filter head assembly, uh, more than likely you've probably got a leak down, uh, leak down situation, maybe even, um, well, you know, maybe even an external leak of some sort. Uh, now, that's what the, that's exactly what this kit's designed for. If you've already priced the Duramax fuel filter head assembly, you know that they can be upwards of four hundred dollars, just depending on who you talk to, where you live. Uh, they are very, very expensive. So resealing it is definitely a lot. Uh, well, is, is going to save you a whole lot of money for sure. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started with this job. To do the job, you're going to need a T20 Torx. This is going to be the tool that you use the most, just any T20 uh, Torx bit. And I use a uh, just a seal pick flat tip screwdriver. Now the nice thing about the AP0029 kit from Alliant Power is it actually comes with a new bleeder screw and it's the, br the brass bleeder, bleeder screw so you can actually get rid of the junky plastic bleeder screw uh, from the fuel filter assembly that everybody knows can be uh, very troublesome. So that's going to be actually what, what we do first. We're going to remove the old fuel filter bleeder screw first off. And even this one's wore out to where you just about can't get a, a uh, flat tip screwdriver on it. So we're going to discard that. We don't need it. All right, now we're going to just go ahead and remove the, uh, the fuel filter. And while we're, t while we're here, let's talk about this for just a second. We've noticed that a lot of these fuel filter head assemblies uh, are warping over time. Now, what a warped the the assembly if it warps what it'll do is it won't let you have a good seal here around your fuel filter base so you're still going to have a problem uh, and you will have to buy unfortunately you will have to buy the new fuel the fuel filter head assembly so all right now what we're going to do in our disassembly is we are actually going to remove the hand primer uh, now the hand primer is held on by three t20 torx bolts and here Right here and there, they're there again. They're they're T20. So we're going to remove the wires, our fuel heater assembly wires first. Just going to go ahead and remove the positive cable by just simply pulling straight up on it. Next, we're going to remove the first T20, which will hold the ground wire. In. Okay. Set those to the, set that to the side. All right. Now our hand primer. We're going to go ahead and remove. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do for sure is you're going to want to put a little hand pressure on this to hold this down because this is going to be spring loaded underneath of here. The hand primer is spring loaded. Right now we're actually just going to lift up on the hand primer assembly very gently. This carrier is just in, uh, the hand primer is just in a couple of pieces, the actual primer itself. Then this shield actually holds it down. All right, the spring and the seal carrier. You just lift up on the seal carrier and it'll come right out. Now, to get your seals out of the top side of this, there will be an O-ring you can see right here. Okay, we're going to remove that O-ring, just lift it off. Then the seal carrier is going to have two O-rings and you want to pay attention to the orientation of these seals. These seals are oriented with the hollow side of the seal pointing up and down. So there's really no, uh, you, can, you can get these backwards, you want to watch, you want to make sure that you watch that. Um, but as long as the hollow part on the top one is going up and the hollow part on the bottom one is going down, then you'll be in good shape. So removing the seals, I, I usually go for the top one first and just get it out of my way. Roll it right off. I say roll it right off, but it's usually a little tougher than that. 
All right, now our bottom seal. Okay, and that lets our, that's got our hand, our seal carrier for our hand primer. That's got all of our seals out. Actually, uh, that's got all of our seals from there completely. On our top side, we've got them all out. All right, now we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna go to the fuel heater assembly. This is actually your fuel heater assembly. I guess that you would call this an anti-drain back ball in the center of it. Here's the electrical portion of the fuel heater assembly itself. This whole plastic portion is actually a fuel heater. So uh, there's two T20 torxes that hold this to the, to the base. So we're gonna remove them. You wanna keep your hand on this one too. This one's spring loaded, not quite as violent as the top side one. All right, now your fuel heater, what you just need to do here is just kind of work it back and forth and it'll pop right up there. So you'll take your heater assembly off there, take it, set it to the side, the spring and drain back ball, check ball, take those and set those to the side. Okay, now you got underneath of here, you've got one seal that will be on the neck there of the filter assembly. We're going to discard that. Then there will be another seal that will, that's probably going to get stuck right here in the filter housing. You just want to pick it and roll it out. Now it's a, it's a, it's a square um, seal. So you want to pay attention to that. So now going back with everything, we'll seal up the bottom side first. So you get our, your pack with all your seals. Okay. What I do is I will take the seals first off. All right, and I'll count them out. I'll make sure that I've got uh, my six seals there. So you can count them. You got my six seals here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and I'm going to put these in a little engine oil, uh, some good clean engine oil that I've got. Uh, that's just for sealing purposes. Uh, and reassembly too, so we don't get them, uh, we don't try to reseal them dry, uh, reseal it dry and, and tear something. So now we're going to go ahead and begin reassembling. First seal that we're going to do is going to be our seal for the, for the uh, fuel heater here. Okay. Put it on. And then we have another O ring here. It's gonna go in the black one's gonna go in the filter housing. All right. All right now, we're gonna go ahead and put our spring and check ball in, okay? Then we're gonna take our heater assembly, simply slide it over. Very gently, we're going to We'll do this. Let's do this on the fuel heater. Let's put this seal on the fuel heater first. Okay. And that'll make the assembly a little bit easier for you. All right. Now our check ball. Now we'll put our fuel heater in. We'll just simply push it down and reassemble our two screws for the heater. Okay, 
All right, now to the top side. So first thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna replace our seal uh, that goes underneath of the seal carrier here. So we're at next old ring we've got. We're gonna place it over top there. All right. Next, we're gonna do our, our two uh, seals on our seal carrier. So we'll have to do our bottom one first and you'll be open side down on it and you'll see that once you get your hands on the seals. Okay, now we're going to do our top seal on our seal carrier. And remember, the uh, hollow side of it is going to go up. And when you get them in, you got to make sure that they don't roll on you. That's the key to it, is not letting the seals, uh, they can roll, but once you get them in the seal carrier, it's to get, a, get them back oriented the right way. Okay. So we've got our seals and our seal carrier. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this. And what I do is I take my hand primer assembly and I just take the seal carrier and actually just kind of ease it into the hand primer itself. All of our seals on this are going to be super, super tight because they're all, of course, because they're all new, so. I should just kind of guide those in there. All right, and then I'll take my top section and I'll put my collar on. All right, so now we're ready to assemble it. So we'll, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put our spring in. Okay, and we're just gonna push this down. Now the seal carrier, uh, it actually will go on here uh, and it'll, it'll actually go over the standards in the filter housing. So you'll have to watch your orientation of it as you're going down here. I'll do is I'll get two in here. All right. Now we're going to put our seal on our on our bleeder screw and go ahead and get it in. Okay. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and start the bleeder screw in the sample. Got my seal on it. All right, now I'm gonna get put my wires on for my fuel heater. All right, so I'm gonna put our ground strap in, our ground wire in. So push your hand primer down. Very important to start these straight, don't cross thread them. So I'll take my power wire now and just simply slide it over. Now my high end primer, I'm just going to go around all three of my T20 torxes, tighten them down equally. Obviously don't over tighten on this.
No, you can't see this, but all I'm doing is going through all three and tightening down here. And again, watch for the orientation of the seal carrier here. Make sure that it's uh, on the standards, on the three standards there, so you're not, uh, you not don't have it out of line and going to break it. All right. So I'm going to put just a little bit of tightening on my bleeder screw here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check. I'm going to put my Put a fuel filter on here real quick and check it and make sure that my filter head is functioning correctly. And it's real easy to check and make sure you've got her functioning. On the um, on this line here, that has the arrow pointing into the filter base instead of away from it. What you can do is just, when you push the primer, if you leave your thumb over this hole, you should have suction, just like that. So. I push the primer a couple times, pull my finger off of it, pull my thumb off of it, and the primer will pop up. So you know you've done the job right if you can do that, if you can pull it away, and it's and the filter housing has actually got suction. So I'm gonna go through, check all my bolts, make sure I'm, I'm tightened, and that'll have you complete on your reseal kit for your Duramax fuel filter head. Hopefully this video is gonna save you some money because again, this is a very, very expensive part. Uh, it's a nice upgrade any way it goes if you've got a bunch of miles on the truck. So you don't have to worry about you know something uh, happening to you when you're down the road. And you get the uh, the fuel filter, the bleeder screw update, uh, the the brass screw in here with the, in this kit, which honestly makes the whole kit worth it, just getting that filter screw. So. Thank you for watching, and again, as always, if you have any questions about this video or anything else, just let us know, and we'll be glad to get you taken care of. Thank you.